Hi there and welcome back. Dan again from Clean Guru. Just wanted to share a quick story. I needed to buy a cheap pair of golf shoes. I am no great golfer so inexpensive golf shoes is fine. The other ones were completely worn out. I go to the mall, go into the sporting goods store and I walk up to the salesman and I said I just need to pick up, I know it's late in the season, you know here's September, October, I just need to pick up a cheap pair of golf shoes. Maybe they're even on sale because it's the end of the season. I sat down waiting for him uh, to kind of show me and he came back he said let me show you these golf clubs uh, these are the brand new uh, pitching wedges we came in and they have this certain kind of uh, grip and they're the certain angle and he, he went on talking to me about this certain kind of golf club and I said yeah I know I'm really not that great I don't need that expensive of, of irons or golf clubs but I said I just need this pair of shoes he goes oh yeah these things he said I just learned in a seminar how good these golf clubs are and he went on again to tell me to try to kind of pitch me on these golf clubs. Now I appreciate those are very expensive and everything. I was just asking for a cheap pair of shoes. But he wasn't listening to me. And if he would have, I would have maybe not only bought my cheap pair of shoes, which by the way I did. I found a pair of shoes eventually there. But I may have thought so much of him that I would have trusted him to come back and buy those golf clubs if I ever need those someday. But I wonder really, you know, how much do we ever really listen when, are, when we're selling? Are we really listening? Let's say when we're selling our cleaning services, do we get so hung up on what the program we're trying to sell to them, our prospect, to the building owner or property manager, do we listen to maybe what instead they're looking for from a cleaning proposal. It just makes me wonder. You know, I, I think back, was I not listening carefully? Because if I'm trying to sell them something they're not interested in, well, that's crazy. You know, it has to be a combination of finding out what they want by listening and then seeing what I can do to meet that bar, to, to match that. Um, it really was a, just a striking lesson about something as small as golf shoes, but it's, there's always a daily lesson out there, isn't there? Till next time, remember, you can do this. You really can.